Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Happy 2019. So today we're going to be talking about the event. So we're going to be talking about if it's good, if it's bad, if it's worth it, if it's not worth it, if you should just stay away from it. Um, now the event is almost over. We're basically pretty much going to be looking at how the event uh, was for myself. Now, I did put money into the event, and I know it is a bit bit too late to give you advice on the event itself. So this is where I'm just going to talk about how the event panned out for myself. Now, there are a couple of good things about the event, uh, and there's a couple of bad things, which I will go through, hopefully, all of them. Now, I'm actually recording in real time, so I I can move the screen there, which is not what I knew, normally do. So I'm using a different recording device uh, to be able to do it in real time and check out different, uh, like the website, etc. So let's start with the good things about the event. And one of the best things about the event is this tank here, which is the Panzer 4S. Now, this is very easy to get, very easy, and you only need 301 cuts. Now, as you can see, I have completed all the lower, uh, the canes, and I'm easily going to be able to do 301 cuts. You just need one one day, if one day's battle's worth, or say two days, I could get this tank. But I haven't actually been playing for the, for the last uh, few days. But over the next couple of days, I can easily get this tank for free. And even if I didn't want to grind it, I just wanted to buy it for gold. At the moment, just by click, uh, completing the first event, uh, the first stage, I can get this tank for 4,150 gold. That's a good price. That really is a good price. But I still wouldn't pay that gold because all these are very, very easy to get. Now, just think you get like three cards per times two you can get four cards i think if you play um an event tank that's in the event you can get five cards if you play an event tank and in a platoon so you can you really can get this tank really really easy um which is a good thing it's getting a free tank uh is what everybody loves and everybody does love a free tank and with this event, you can actually get possibly two free tanks. So you can get yourself the Panzer 4S. And if you then decide to grind all the canes, you could potentially get a tank in the Lucky Spin, which we will get through very shortly. So as you can see, I have completed all the canes at the bottom and i think you can get around i think it's 350 canes and which will be enough to get you to the i think it's the fourth star which gets you the the one lucky spin and i've done that i did do that i put money in also to get into the next star to get two two spins which again i will go through uh as and when so with my lucky spin, so I got to the lucky spin, I got myself a Tankenstein. It's not a tank I wanted. I really, really did not want this tank. Um, but there was only two tanks. This, the, the WZ, um, the tier 8 T, Chinese TD. It was really only them two tanks that I didn't have. Obviously including the T95 E6 and the T22. So it's to get a tank that I didn't have. Okay, it's it's for free. It was for free. So potentially, if I didn't want to spend any money this event, I would get the Panzer 4 S and the Tankenstein, absolutely free. That's good. That is a good event. Now people have been moaning about the event, how it's a waste of money, how the crates are so expensive and you can only say the 13.5k gold 3% drop rate uh 
and then you've got even the the 400,000 free XP, which is a 1% drop rate for a lucky ticket. However, if you move over to, uh, to, to where you buy these ones, the drop rate for the lucky ticket goes up to 10%, which is really, really good. Now, but that's a lot of money if you're willing to spend a lot of money. Now, another really, really, really good thing about this event. Now, you can't really see it because I've, I have used them. Is these rare Christmas boxes. Which, if we go here, you've got three Christmas boxes. The legendary, the epic, and the rare. Now, the rare gets you 1,500 gold for £1.99, I think it is. Yeah, £1.99. Which is really, really good. Um, the next one up gets you, is it 8,500 gold? Um, which is the epic. And that gets you 8,500 gold. And that's, is it 8.99? I think it is. So £9. Which again is really, really good. And the legendary one, if you fill them up completely, this is. You can cash out pretty much whenever you like. But if you fill them up completely, you can get that. So... In this, this one, if you fill it up completely, you can get 20,000 gold for £20. Now, 20,000 gold, if you go in to buy the 20,000 gold, you're looking at this one here, which is £44 for 17,500. And the next one to make up to 20,000 gold is this one. So you're looking at £44 plus nine, you're looking at 53 pound. So if you want to buy gold in the store, um, you're looking at 53 pound at least for just over 20K dam uh, damage, 20K gold. Whereas in this one, I, I think I worked out for the same price for 50 pound, you can get yourself 44,500 gold if you buy them all, which you can see, I've only got this one remaining because I have bought the rest of them, which the the, the legendary one, you can only buy once. Um, the epic, you can buy twice. And you can buy this one, I think, five times. So in total, you can get yourself, if you buy them all, you can get yourself 44,500 gold for £50. Now that is good, considering if you spend £50 on here, you're only getting yourself 20,000 gold. 20, well, 20,000, nearly 21,000 gold. So you're getting more than twice the amount of gold just from this, these Christmas boxes, which that epic, that is an epic deal. Now, just think, if you buy one 20,000 pound uh, gold for 20 pound, you could buy yourself, not so much now, but at the time, People were buying the 121B, which was on for sale for 20k gold. So you're getting a tier 10 for 20k gold, which is just an insane offer. It really was a good offer. And that is why I have took the opportunity to buy them. And you can see I've already bought two of these ones and I've got three remaining because the deal is just insane. So you can see here 199 for 1500 gold. The cheapest you're going to get is 99 so for two pound, you're going to get 500 gold. That's double the price for triple the less. It's just, it's insane. So this event, I have spent, is it worth it? Or I wouldn't say is it worth it? Or I have spent in total about 100 pound this event. And most of that did go on uh, the crates. I bought quite a few crates. Um, what did I win? Now, this is where I think back, and I'm actually, at the moment, before making this video, I, I was talking to my clan, and before making, uh, talking to the clan, I thought, this event actually sucked. I'm really disappointed with this event. I hate it, and I've just wasted £100. But then looking back and going through all the figures, Actually, it's not so bad. So I spent a hundred pound. Uh, I spent a hundred pound, and all I won really was the Tankenstein. 
So 100 pound uh, and a Tankenstein. But on top of that, I did also win some camouflages, which for the Super Persian are the M48 pattern, the Louvre. The mouse, I won both camouflages. Um, Scorpion G, I won the camouflage for the Scorpion G. Uh, the Mark Chieftain Mark Six. I won the camouflage, which I already had, so I got nearly six hundred thousand credits in return. The same goes with the Death Star, six hundred thousand credits in return for this camouflage, and an AMX fifty B. So for one hundred pound, I got a Tankenstein and all of these uh, camouflages. Now you'd think that is not worth it. No, it isn't. It really is not worth it. So. In total, we're going to go and have a look at the tree. So you're going to click the decoration on the tree. And then let's turn the device. And we're going to have a look at my progress on the tree. So you can see we are up to the fourth star. Um, which if you get there, you get two lucky spins. You get that stupid attachment. Bear camouflage for the IS-3. And a pit bull camouflage for the pattern. And then a stupid garage improvement so what i don't like about this event and what i think really really sucks i hate so you've got gambling you've got the crates you've got gambling which is if you want to gamble that's absolutely fine now what i don't like is wargaming have put candy canes and i think the total you can win is 350 canes now if that will get you enough canes to get to the third star, which you need 295 canes. So with the third star, you get one lucky spin, lucky dice attachment, the menacing camouflage for the KV-2, and a garage improvement, which is useless. So why can't... That was always Wargaming's initiative. That's what they wanted. They wanted you to only get enough camouflage... Uh, only get enough candy canes to get yourself that one lucky spin. So why make it 350 candy canes that you can win? Why not make it 295? Well, it's Wargaming are quite smart because you're going to earn 350 candy canes, which will take you above the 295. Then people are going to think, well, I'm... I'm closer to the next star. I'm just going to go and buy some crates to hopefully get myself to the next star. Whereas the next star, the fourth star compared to the third star is 500. So you need 500 canes. It doesn't sound a lot, but put it this way. I bought, recently I bought 10 to get myself over the edge. I have obviously put money in, but just to get myself over the edge, I bought 10 crates. And from them 10 crates, which was 13,500 gold, I got 68 canes. I need 500. So just think of the difference, the price difference you're going to need from that third start to the fourth start. So I thought that was a bad move for Wargaming. It's, it's making people want to gamble because they think they're close. They're saying that you can get this many candy canes you can get 20 30 different candy canes when in fact i was only opening two candy canes four candy canes so because then i bought 10 crates which got me 68 it pushed me just that little bit closer to the next star and then people think well there's no point stopping now if i stop now i'm going to kick myself because i'm just so close so people then put more money in and then more money and eventually they get that star which is exactly what i got so and this is where i meant i put 100 pound in so from the third star i didn't put no money in at, at all zero i put 100 pound and that got me from the third star to the fourth star now then think from the fourth star to the fifth one which is the t22 you need over a thousand candy canes, like nearly 1200 candy canes. So I, I don't mind that. I really don't mind the cost of these because this is a tier 10 tank and you get two lucky, lucky tickets. 
So it's going to be a lot. And I don't mind that because if you get it cheap or easy to get, then the game's just going to be overrun by these tanks. And this tank is very, very, very good. So it's going to be a lot. And again, like I said, I don't mind it being a lot of money. Now, I've known people to spend £400 straight up, start of the event, not even grinded, £400, and they've got this tank. Now, people are going to think, wow, you've just spent £400 for this tank. Mm, yes and no, because leading up to that £400, they've, they've obviously bought um, crates. And when you buy crates, you get your candy canes, you get camouflages, you get um, credits, and you get the lucky spins. So, for example, one of my clan mates, he spent £400 to get this tank straight up without grinding. Straight up, the first day it was there, bang, £400, he gets the tank. It's a lot of money. But if you look at what else he has won, he's won Dracula, Tankenstein, M60, Chieftain, um, other tanks. Uh, let's have a look. So... He's won the, I think he won 600,000 uh, free XP. Not sure about the Scorpion, but he won the Tankenstein. He won the Gravedigger. He won the Helsin. He won the Dracula. Not sure about the Defender. Not sure about the WZ, but he won the M60. He won the Chieftain. He didn't win that. And he eventually got the T22. So if you look at it in hindsight like that, that's actually not so bad. It really isn't so bad. But people don't want these other tanks. They just want the T22. Why can't I just pay with the T22? Well, eventually you're probably going to be able to. Just like any tank, any tier 10 tank, eventually this tank is going to come for sale on its own. So you're paying for the rarity of the tank. So you want to be the first one to have this tank. You're going to have to pay a lot of money. Now, eventually it's going to come for 20,000, 25,000 gold, 30,000 gold which is a lot cheaper. Um, but by then, a lot of people have got the tank. It's going to be quite hard to ace. And it's not as rare as it is now. So I really don't mind that aspect. But then the other problem we've got. So people are putting £400 in. Fair enough. They've got £400. They've got the T22. They've got 1,930 uh, candy canes. There is still yet another star, which is almost double the amount of the t22 so the next star you need 3430 candy canes now if this star gets the t22 the next star that's got to get you something quite special mm, no not really it gets you five lucky spins it gets you the christmas reef avatar it gets you 24 frame attachment which is useless gets you a garage improvement useless it gets you a standard bearer attachment for the t22 and the uncatchable camouflage for the t22 now if you're like my friend who has got almost all these tanks in here then you're not going to pay any more you're not going to buy you're going to get the t22 and then you're not going to go any further w what is the point to get tanks that you've already got or free XP if you've got enough free XP anyway. They're not going to risk all this money just to get a camouflage. And even if they haven't got all the tanks in here. They've just put £400 into the game to get the T22. So along that way, that's a lot of crates. And that's the potential to get a lot of free tickets now don't forget with this you're getting two spins uh the star before you're getting two spins that's four spins this one you're getting five spins and for 400 pound you're gonna get quite a few spins or at least i'd say three spins um so you're looking at around eight to ten maybe even more spins so by the time you get to this one you've probably already one or by the time you get to this one sorry you probably already won most of the tanks on this spin so why would you put any more in it's just useless and it uh, that is just a waste now 
again, once you win the T22, why can't they just remove the music lover attachment, remove the garage improvement, and replace that with the standard bearer attachment and the uncatchable attachment? It's it's just useless. It really is. I don't know why they've done it. N not many people are going to go for this last star. Now, I have seen people with the unca uncatchable camouflage. If they've got the money to put in, they could do whatever they like with their money. It's totally up to them. I'm not going to see them in battle with this tank, with this camouflage, and then start calling them gold noob. It really doesn't bother me. They can. It's their money. They can do what the hell they want. And I'm quite surprised how people do care. Now, I was on my contributor account the other day, playing with a friend who's got this tank. I had this camouflage. The amount of abuse we got, just because we both had this tank, it's like, it, dude, it's our money. Well, it wasn't my money because it's a, a war gaming account for me. But let us do what the hell we want with our money. Um, but people do get triggered, mostly young people because they haven't got the money. They can't get the money or their parents won't let them spend this money in, in the game. But so I don't mind... If whoever's got this tank, I really, really don't care. Congratulations, because you've got yourself a fantastic tank. So that is pretty much the tree. That's the event. Now, we're going to look at, as I've said, what I got. So I spent £100 to get from the third star to the fourth star. As you can see, I've got the fourth star. I've, I've got the two lucky spins. And I got the previous lucky spin, which was the star before. Um... So what did I win and why am I not happy with my outcome? Now we're going to go back and da, 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 to the game. One second. So we're going to go back to the game and then we're going to see why I'm upset and actually why I shouldn't actually be upset. So I've got three spins. So the first spin, as I've already said, got me the Tankenstein. Now, the next two spins actually got me free XP. So I've got two lots of 200,000 free XP. Now, if I would have just stopped there, this is where it was a good deal. Now, if I would have stopped there, this would have been a great deal for me. A great deal. But I got greedy and I used those free XP, all 400,000. As you can see, I've only got 1,425 left. I used all those free XP and got more crates and I pretty much got nothing. So if I didn't use that free XP, I would have. So let's just see, say I've got 400,000 XP. So I've spent 100 pound. I've got the Tankenstein. I've got 400,000 free XP and I've got all these lovely camouflages. Now, on top of that, I also did own, and this is where I got more greedy, and it would have paid off. But for someone that's got most of the tanks in the event, now this event really isn't worth it. If you're going to gamble just to try and get, if you're going to buy crates or or whatever, just to try and get the T22, then you're probably going to lose, and it's probably going to cost you a lot of money. Now, if you're a player that's, Christmas is just gone. You're a young player. You've got money for Christmas or you've got vouchers, uh, iTunes or Google Play. And you don't put money into the game and you're willing to and you've got none of the premium tanks. Then this could really, really be worth it for you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not telling you to go do it. I'm just saying it could be worth the money. So I also owned a couple of collectible tanks so i owned the panzer b2 which is a tier 4 tank now i was going to keep it but this is where i got greedy and i thought well one crate is 1500 gold i could sell a panzer b2 for 1500 gold so you know what i'm going to risk it i'm going to do it and i've done it so i bought one crate and with that crate i was lucky enough to get a lucky spin so with that lucky spin i actually won a defender but I already owned the Defender, so I got 10,000 gold. But but let's say I didn't own the Defender. Uh, I've just got myself a new Defender. So in total, we spent £100 
And this is where I'm going to add up, not, well, I'm going to try and add up the cost of, or the pr the price of what we got back. So the Tankenstein, from, at a guesstimate, at a rough estimate, was about £20, 18 to £20. So bear in mind, we've spent £100, we've got Tankenstein, uh, we've got Tankenstein, roughly 20 quid. Uh, on top of that, we have then got uh, Defender, again, around about 20 quid maybe a bit more but around about 20 quid so that is 40 pound worth of goods we've got in in tanks um then moving on we have the super persian camouflage which camouflage they're about five pound so that's 45 pound then we go on to the pattern camouflage which is around seven pound roughly so that's around about 52 pound uh, then we get the louver camouflage again around about seven pounds so 52 so 59 and then you're looking at uh, the mouse we've got two camouflages and they're about eight pound each so 59 that's 67 plus another one 75 pound again we get the scorpion 75 that was about six pounds so around about 80 81 pound and these camouflages were a bit more so you're looking maybe 10 pounds so 90 pound for this camouflage this camouflage around about 100 pounds and then the amx again about eight pound so roughly you're looking at about 108 110 pound worth of goods just from the tanks i've won and the camouflages so already I've got back more than I put in just from the tanks and the camouflages. We are up at around 110 pound. But don't forget on top of that, on two of my spins, I win 400,000 free XP. Now, if you convert that to gold it, uh, and convert it to money, that's around 40 pound. That's around 40 pound. So you're looking at around 150 pound. So 150 pound back from 100 pound just from free XP camouflages and tanks. So 150 pound that's not a bad deal. But there's more. And it's not much more, but there's still a little bit more. Now if you go to certificates, I've still got then the bear camouflage for the IS3. I've also won quite a few KV2 camouflages which I've already got which I get credits for. And there's quite a few other like duplicates. So um, the Louvre, I might have got a couple of times. Scorpion G, a couple of times. And then you're looking at all these. I'm not sure how much all these attachments are worth. Um, for me, they're worth nothing. Um, and then all these attachments. So you get a load of attachments with that as well, which not a lot. You get the avatars as well, which again, is not really worth it. Uh, you get all these backgrounds again, which is not really worth it. And then you get the boosters. So even though it might sound like I'm talking shit, it's really not bad. And what else you don't see is the free XP booster. Now, every time you buy a crate, you pretty much get a free XP booster. And you get like 20 of them per crate. Not per crate, but most of the time you get around 20 free xp 200 free xp boosters every every crate or two so for me overall i actually did not do too bad but because i got greedy i got really greedy it turned out a bad event for me um but that is pretty much the event and why it turned out bad for myself and again, if you are thinking about using the event or buying crates, just take that into consideration. If you've got the tanks or if you've got quite a few tanks that are in the lucky lucky uh, spin, then just be aware that if you win one of them tanks you're only that you've already got, you're going to get 10,000 gold. Now, if you're willing to put gold in, once you win that 10k gold, the the likelihood that you're going to use that 10 gold 
10k gold to buy more crates is very, very high. Because you that's what you're putting the money in for in the first place, to get crates. And if you win a tank you've already got, you don't want that tank because you've already got it. So the gold, you're going to use to buy more tanks, which is exactly what I've done. I got too greedy. I used all the gold that I won. I used all the free XP that I won. So overall, I walk away with a few camouflages and a Tankenstein, which are, a video for the Tankenstein is due up because it's not a tank I wanted, not a tank I really <laughs> I wanted to play. But since I had it and I collect my aces, which you can see on the bottom right, you can see that I've aced it and you can see that a video will be in coming for the Tankenstein. But that is about it. So there is a few good things, as I've said, what I really would recommend, which is the gold in the bundles. If you haven't got the, the rare boxes, etc., they are really, really worth getting. Really worth getting. But don't do what I did. Don't buy all the gold and then use all the gold to buy containers because then you could end up losing it. Save it for something that's worth getting. Just like many of my friends did. They bought the £20 gold, bought the 121B. Now, there is a couple of things that I really did want in this event. I wouldn't have minded the tier 8 TD, the Chinese, because I haven't got that and that's a tank I wanted. Obviously, the T95E6 I didn't mind and the T22. But there was one thing that I actually really, really, really wanted. Now, on my contributor account, I've opened loads of containers. And I've got this so many times. But on my account, opening all these containers, I just couldn't get it. And that is the 121B camouflage. Uh, it just looks absolutely amazing. Not on my one, because it's I haven't got it. But it just looks amazing. And that's... I really, really wanted it, but I didn't get it, unfortunately, um, but I do know quite a few people that have got it. So that is it, guys. If you have won the T22 from the event, which I have seen, I've seen people get one lucky spin and they have got the T22, but then again, I've also seen people spend four or five hundred pound and only got the T22 once they've reached that star on the Christmas tree. So that is the event. Again, it's almost over. And as I've said, it's not a bad event. If you play it right or if you don't gamble, it's actually not a bad event. And on top of the event, you've also got uh, the auction, which I forgot to talk about. So the auction, we've seen Dracula's sellout, we've seen Helgen sellout, Chieftain Pop 6's sellout. Um, the camp hands are there, 12,700 gold, which is still a really good price for a tier 9 tank. Uh, Lorraine 40T, 12,000 gold. I'm sure that was like 18 or 20,000 gold when it was for sale. So with that money, I could have bought these tanks. With that, the crates that I've, uh, the container money, the gold containers that I bought, uh, 20,000 gold for 20 quid, I could have bought these tanks. And you can see all these tanks are over. So that is the event in general, I hope you've enjoyed it. For me, it's been not so good. It's been pretty, pretty bad. But in the long run, I I think the event's not. It really isn't bad. But I got too greedy. So if you're not like me, just don't get too greedy. If you win 400,000 uh, free XP, don't feel disappointed about that because that's a lot of free XP. Now, we all know the Chinese TDs are coming. That will pretty much get you the whole line. So, just think of it that way, don't feel disappointed. If you're going to gamble and you're going to lose, then of course you're going to be disappointed, but only yourself will be to blame. Now, I don't promote gambling uh, at all, especially the way Wargaming do it, occasionally. but I don't think this event is good and it's bad. It depends how you want to look at it. But for now, I have rambled on an awful lot. I'm MeG69. I hope you enjoyed this video and you find it helpful. Um, if you want to become a patron, please see the link below. I'm in the process of making an FCM review, which is wanted by one of my patrons, which is one of the first things I do if you become a patron, 
is ask you what video you would like to see. We platoon uh, as much as I can and just it generally helps me out and it gives me the motivation to actually want to do videos. So if you want to do that, please please click the link. If you don't, fair enough. I you're still my you're still my fans. I still love you all to bits. But for now, I'm Easy69 and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye bye.